Hi everybody, it's me, Jacob, library technician at the Longview Public Library. And today I'm going to show you how to do the craft for our pre-K packet for week five, and the theme is spring. From home, you'll need either a stapler or some tape. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll also need some sort of brown coloring instrument, like a crayon or a marker. And then finally, you'll need glue or a glue stick. Inside your pre-K packet, you'll get a piece of blue cardstock. You'll get a pink pipe cleaner. You'll get some pink streamers that are pre-cut for you. And you'll get some pink tissue paper that may or may not be cut for you. So the first step is you want to take your marker or your crayon and you want to draw the branch of a tree on your cardstock. So you can, I recommend using as much of the space as possible to draw your branch while leaving some blue in there as like a contrast. So here's what I did, and you may notice that the color switched from blue to white, that's because I did my sample one on white paper. So now you're gonna take this and you're gonna flip it over so the colored side is down, and then you're going to begin taking your streamers and you're going to glue them about maybe a third or so, maybe halfway, um, and you'll just glue them all the way across and use that whole space. All right, so it's all glued on now. And the next step is that you'll take this and you'll place it face up again. And you're gonna take your strips of tissue paper. And if they haven't been cut for you, you wanna take and put them in about one inch squares or so. And you're just gonna pinch it in the center and take your other hand and just kind of pinch it into itself. So that way it kind of looks like a little flower. And you're gonna do that with all of your tissue paper. And then you're going to take your glue and you're going to glue those onto your branches. So here's the little flowers that I glued onto my branch, and you can of course add more if you would like to. And the next step is that you're gonna take this and you're going to roll it up a little bit and make sure that you take one end and fold it into itself, basically to make a circle. And then you're gonna take either your stapler or your tape, or you can glue it, and you're gonna glue it together in the shape of a cylinder. Okay, so I have it all rolled up and it's almost ready to go. We only have one thing left to do and that's to take our pipe cleaner and we're going to hook it onto the top so that way you can hang it from something and it'll blow in the wind. So I'm gonna take my stapler, I'm gonna staple my pipe cleaner to the top. And here you go, here is your finished cherry blossom wind sock. You can hang it on something and let it blow in the wind. So as part of your pre-K packet, you also get this supplemental slip and the supplemental slip has the book recommendations that we have in the video, as well as the song lyrics to the songs that we're gonna sing. And finally, it has a literacy tip that I would like to share with you. And that literacy tip is that drawing pictures and attempting to write letters and words help a child develop print awareness. When children do this, they make the leap to understanding that marks on a page carry meaning. So this first song is called 10 Little Flowers, and it goes like this. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, ten flowers in the spring. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine so they grow up tall. And our second song is called The Farmer Plants the Seeds and it's to the tune of The Farmer in the Dell, and it goes like this. The farmer plants the seeds, the farmer plants the seeds, hi-ho the dairy -o, the farmer plants the seeds, and then there's other verses you can add in, like the rain begins to fall, the rain begins to fall, hi-ho the dairy -o, the rain begins to fall, and then we can do the sun begins to shine, the sun begins to shine, Hi-ho, the dairy -o, the sun begins to shine. And then there's other verses you can do too. And now I've got some book recommendations to share with you for our theme of spring. The first one is 
My Friend Earth by Patricia McLaughlin. And I really like this book because the art is really beautiful and there's a lot of interactive page turns where you can read the text and then the flap will go over and see how she's opening her eye. And then you can get a glimpse of the next page through the hole here. And it's just a very neat picture book um, about this character here who is like the personification of Earth. The next book is a baby story time favorite, but I think it's also appropriate for toddlers too, is When Spring Comes by Kevin Hankies. And this one's great because it has short text and vibrant illustrations, and it's all about kinds of things that will happen during spring, such as the flowers blooming and wild animals coming out to play. And just got very beautiful, very interactive art um, that kids enjoy. And then, of course, it ends with little bit of a look at summer coming soon. This next book is found in our nonfiction collection and it's called Cherry Blossoms Say Spring by Jill Esbaum. And so this one is all about different festivals and different activities that happen during springtime. And one of the examples that they give is the party that happens um, for the spring um, cherry blossom festival in DC. And so it shows um, all these flags flying and this big balloon here. And it just talks about all the different festivities. And it's got some really cute photography in it as well. And finally, Spring Blossoms by Carol Gerber. And so this one is about two children walking through the trees and it's kind of, it has a little bit of a nonfiction element to it because it goes on to describe the different kinds of trees and the different blossoms that each of the trees have and what they smell like, what they look like. Um, and so it reads a little bit more like a nonfiction book, um, but it's really cute for learning about all the different flowers and it's got really cute illustrations too. So that's our book recommendation. Thanks everyone for watching this video. We hope you enjoy making your own cherry blossom windsock Remember to come into the library to pick up your pre-K packet, and you can do that at the lower floor desk or in the drive-thru. And we have story times at 10.30, baby story time on Mondays, toddler story time on Tuesdays, and preschool story time on Wednesdays. And we hope to see you soon at the library.